You folks at home know my passion for surf fishing and have seen us hit the surf from Montauk to Long Beach several times over our 16 years on the fishing line. This week's program is a real treat for me as we get back to basics and show you folks at home how to make a couple of real calcular lures using rig deals and eel skin plugs. Our guest this week is my longtime friend, commercial fisherman, and past tackle shop owner Joe Gallo, who learned these tricks years and years ago from the legendary Al Benson, who sadly passed away in 2009. Joe has used these living lures to slay many cows in the surf and around the bridges himself. We'll show you today how to rig the eel, how to assemble the eel skin plug, the items you'll need to make both, the knots to use, and of course some great insight from my guest on the uses for both as well. Stay with us, it's going to be a very informative program. We'll be right back here on The Fishing Line. All right, folks, it's time for the Northeast Premier Fishing Show, The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson, now in our second decade. The Fishing Line is brought to you by Marine Formula Stable, to prevent the damaging effects of ethanol in your fuel tank, use Marine Formula Stable. And by the Long Island Power Authority. More choice, better service, LIPA. And by the Fishing Report Hotline. 24-hour fishing reports by phone when you need them. Hey, fishermen, for the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. Oh, fish on, here we go. Hey, folks, when I'm not out here doing the Fishing Line television show, guess what I'm doing? I'm on WGBB 1240 AM bringing you the Fishing Line radio show every Saturday afternoon with up-to-the-minute fishing reports throughout the show, weekly guest experts sharing their tips and secrets, and we take your phone calls live on the air. If you want to know where the fish are, not where they were, join me every Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. on WGBB 1240 AM radio for the Fishing Line. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fishing reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. Joe started his love affair of the water at a young age snapper fishing before moving into the offshore game also very early. Like most of us, this passion continued on with Joe mastering both recreational and commercial fishing, culminating in 850 pound stripers to his credit. Joe, in the past we've shown the folks at home the rig deal you used to catch cow bass. On this segment we're using eel skin plugs. They've been around a lot longer than you or I have, but where do you learn the eel skin plug? Um, basically just for my love of fishing with the eels, live eels, rigged eels, and this has always been a method guys used in the past, and, uh, I tried it a few times, caught a few fish with it, and, uh, it has its moments when it works. Now, the big rigged eel is known as a cow killer. Can you catch big fish on eel skin plugs? Absolutely. You catch, you know, you can catch five pound fish, you can catch 50 pound fish. It's, uh, it's an awesome, awesome lure, and, uh, the skin is just a little additive towards the plug to give the plug a little bit more action. Now, for the most part, you're using plugs that are usually about six, seven inches long? Yes. Um, if you can get plugs bigger than that, it would be even better, but the problem is the size of the eels. Mm -hmm. As you know, you've got to have a pretty fairly big eel to cover a plug, so basically six-inch plugs and, you know, two to three-pound eels, that's the right combination to skin a plug like that. And another important part of the presentation is the head that we use. Now, we have two plugs here. One is a round head, one is a slope head, and obviously you can't use a slope head, right Joe? Right. Uh, the reason being is because you have to sew the the skin onto the plug and you mm -hmm. want to make the plug as streamlined as possible with the skin so it doesn't affect the action of the plug. 
Okay, so we got our plug. We decide to plug nice metal a plug like this. Does color really make a difference? Color doesn't mean anything because it's going to be covered anyway. Okay, so what's the first thing we have to do and what equipment are we going to be using? Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to get one of your plugs that you know swims very good. You don't have to adjust anything. So you start out with your good swimming plug. Um, you got to get an eel. Mm -hmm. Eels might be a little tough to come by, so you're probably better off going to one of your local fishmongers, fish market, and ask the guy to order you, you know, a half a dozen big eels. Mm -hmm. They got to be at least two to three pounds. Um, a good plug. You need some hooks, Dacron, and uh, a little razor knife. Okay, now, obviously you got to clean the eel. What do you just tack it to the wall and just pull the skin down off it? Uh, guys just cut the head halfway, mm -hmm. and then you pull it back, and the whole skin should come right off in one uniform piece like this. This okay. is from one of the eels that we skinned earlier. And this is a big eel, and you can see by the color of that, it's dark. And when you look at the finished version right below it, you'll see it's actually blue. And why does it turn blue? Well, because we turn it inside out. That's right. So what's the first thing we have to do, Joe? Okay, uh, first thing you have to do is you have to get the plug mm -hmm. that you want to cover. And what you have to do is you have to cut a notch out so that way when you tie your Dacron, it has something to grab onto and it won't pull the skin down. Mm -hmm. So usually you just do this with a, a razor knife. Now how far back from the edge of the front head do you want to come right behind. Right behind where the metal is. Okay. Right about in there. Doesn't have to be precise. Uh, you don't have to measure anything. Just ballpark, eyeball it. Mm -hmm. So you cut a notch all the way around. Yep. Put a good sharp razor. Make sure you raise a sharp, folks, because just like in the home, more accidents happen with dull razors and dull knives than they do with the sharp items. And once you cut your notch, you're going to basically chip it out down to the bare wood? Yes. We'll cut a little notch out, and then that'll leave, like, actually like a little groove or a runway there where mm -hmm. we could lay the uh, Dacron in and it's got something to bite onto when it won't slip down. Okay. You know, while Joe Gullo is rigging those giant eels, you have to know where and what time of year to get those kind of big jumbo eels. We're here at the South Shore Fish Market in Island Park. My fish market specials, Artie Hoarding, he's going to tell us all about it right now, so come on in. Folks, we're here with Artie Hoarding from the South Shore Fish Market. They're going to do us a favor and help us out on today's show. You know, Joe Gullo was preparing our next step for the eel skin plug show that you're watching, but there's got to be a way to get the skin off the eel, and Artie, you're going to show us how to do that, huh? Absolutely. And, uh... You want a nice medium-sized eel? First step would be to make a cut right underneath the head. Down to the vertebrae. Without going through it. Without going through it. Turn the knife around. Cutting the eel. And the best time to get these big eels like that is around the holidays, right, Ollie? Yeah, late, late, early to late fall. Mm -hmm. Make sure you split the anal fin on the bottom of the eel. Remove the guts using your scraper. At that point, being eels are slippery and very slimy, you may want to clean the board a little bit. You may want to work on newspaper at home or something. Newspaper, with burlap. Yep. Whatever, whatever helps. Now you have a gutted eel. We're gonna make a cut straight through the meat. Rocking the knife. You don't want to break the skin. And that gives you a notch to get your thumb in there to hold it. Gives you a notch to get the thumb in there. And you're pretty much using your scraper and having a handle with the head attached to the skin to pull on okay yeah because this is slippery and you do need to be able to you need to, to be able to hold hold it down Pretty much just 
full. And you got it. Now, as you can see, it's blue, just like Joe was showing you on the dry skin that we had. And you have the slit coming down to the one point to the anal fin, but from this point back is what we're going to be using on the plug. So we would just kind of cut this with a sharp uh, knife. Cut this a little above the anal opening with a sharp knife. And now we have, as you can see, some air got in here, so it's blown up a little bit, which is what it'll look like behind the plug. But as you can see, we have a nice, beautiful eel skin. It's blue. It's ready to go. We just have to slide our plug in here. Artie, thanks for showing us how to do that. And these big eels that we're using on today's show, they're not available really all year long. At certain times of the year, you get them, right, Artie? Late summer, uh, early uh, to mid-fall is the best time. They're large at that point, they're, they're, they're fat, uh, you got a good quality skin, and uh, they're looking to bed down and uh, hibernate for the winter. So you want to come into a place like Audie South Shore Fish Market, there's other fish markets like Corey over in Freeport, he can get eels and things of that nature, he's one of the industry guys who wholesales them out. But you go to your local fish market like the South Shore Fish Market here, around the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, when you go through a lot of eels, you know what, maybe you come in, you do enough business with Audie, he might save some of those skins in a basket for you. Absolutely. And you come get them later or, on in the season. we put them in a freezer, you know, you, you have to think for the following season. Uh, you get them at, at, around the holidays, Christmas, New Year's and put them away and put them in the freezer and then when the uh, striped bass run starts in May, June, July uh, you can rig them up and you have them for that year the following year. That's right, so let's get back to Joe Gullo and rigging eels right now. Hey fishermen, for the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the internet log on to www.thefishingline.com Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to The Fishing Line radio show live on the web Saturdays at 4 p.m. or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were with Thefishingline.com What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com Hey surfcasters, would you like to learn the real secrets of the surf game? Well now you can by fishing with licensed guide and TV host Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Whether a beginner or a surf rat, learn to read the beach, fish plugs or bait and all quality tackle is supplied free. Fish one or two people or get gift certificates. From Montauk to New York City, get consistency and quality in your fishing game by fishing with Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Call 516-889-6895. That's 516-889-6895 or thefishingline.com. Let's go down to the bare wood now. All right. Once you get the knack of this, how long is this going to take you, Joe? Uh, it should take no more than five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preference when it comes to places to fish or tides or currents to fish these plugs? Um, I love to fish these down in Long Beach on the jetties at night, right around a moon, a new moon or a full moon, mm -hmm. when you have a little bit of a tidal flow. As we were talking earlier, you don't really get much tide down in Long Beach because of the jetties, but on the moon, you get just enough tide. On the outgoing, you get a nice little rip forming on the right side of the jetty, and this is a good plug. You just walk the stones, you throw it, throw it out, fish it into the rip, and uh, some nights it really works. <laughs> can you use these on open beaches as well? Absolutely. This is a versatile lure. You can use it, you can use it off a boat, casting at the marshes and the back bays. Mm -hmm. You can actually troll this on wire line, like the old guys used to do years right. ago, <laughs> which no one does anymore. And uh, basically, that's what you're going to end up with, a little notched out head there. All right, so it goes all the way around. It's about an eighth of an inch wide. Yeah. Circumference is all the way around the plug. And about an eighth of an inch deep? Yeah, just enough to, just to get enough where the Dacron will bite into it without okay. sliding down. So what's our next step? Okay, next step, you just take your skin. You gotta turn it inside out. Reason why I like to turn it inside out is anybody who fishes eels, live eels, or rigged eels, the more the fish hit them, it peels the pigment off the skin. Mm -hmm. It turns them blue. For some reason, at night on a moon tide, when the moon's bright, they see this color, they like it. Works very good. Now we've heard and actually seen in our live eel fishing on the three ways that bass always come back to the eels that. That's been hit a couple Absolutely. times. Absolutely. The uglier they get, the better they work. That's right. So that's why we're turning this inside out to give it a nice blue sheen so it looks like it's been hit a few right. times. Right. And it also stands off nice to the moonlight, especially mm -hmm. on a moon. Really, this thing shines real beautiful in the water. 
Okay. Okay, so now we got it turned inside out. And there's look. almost a seam. It's hard to see. Folks. It looks like it's stitched, actually. It almost looks like it's stitched right on the top. And you have that on the top and the bottom. That's just the natural. Right. That's the fin line of the eel, mm -hmm. where the fins come out. So you want to fold this right on that edge of almost the stitching, right? Right. Here. Yep. Okay, and then the next step is uh, you're going to insert the plug into the eel. You come a little bit over. Basically, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to take some Dacron. This is just the regular 30 pound test Dacron. We should show the folks here. You can see the eel skin is just up behind the head, just ahead of, and if I was to feel where the notch is, the notch is right about here where my thumb is, so it's a good half inch behind. Right. That'll give you enough room to play with to tie it off tight, mm -hmm. and then we have to cut off the excess okay. around. Now, if anybody's seen the eel rigging video, we're going to show you, remember that finishing loop knot that we did right. for the head? What you do is you take your Dacron, you double it up, use your two fingers, just like that. You grab the line once, make a loop, then you grab it again, and you make a second loop, and then it makes a little knot right there. We're going to take that, slide that over. Mm -hmm. You gotta kinda and you find your notch in the skin. Find the notch. Which we got right about here. Okay, make sure you got it all the way around. Now with this knot, like we showed earlier, the tighter you pull it, the mm -hmm. tighter it gets. So you gotta make sure you're in your notch all the way around. You can see that the line has found a notch all the way around. Right. Because at this point you can still loosen the knot to make adjustments, right? right? Yep. But now, like we said, you got the it's on the notch. Now we're going to sock it in, okay. and it'll hold that skin on there. We're going to tighten it down, and then you just do a couple of overhand knots. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to be a little bit tougher than the rig deal, and the fact that you can handle some bluefish on this, and not right. going to cut it in half like a rig deal. No, they won't. They can't bite the wood in half. That's the only mm -hmm. good thing. And you cut the excess off. Right. All right. So now you have your your skin on the plug. And now what we got to do is you want to cut the excess of the skin off. So you just don't fold it back like some folks have done in the past. You no. Cut it off completely. That'll that'll mess up the whole movement of the plug. You want to make it as close as being real as you can. Without cutting through the dacron. Right. You got to be very careful. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fish reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. Hey Surfcasters, would you like to learn the real secrets of the surf game? Well now you can by fishing with licensed guide and TV host Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Whether a beginner or a surf rat, learn to read the beach, fish plugs or bait and all quality tackle is supplied free. Fish one or two people or get gift certificates. From Montauk to New York City, get consistency and quality in your fishing game by fishing with Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Call 516-889-6895, that's 516-889-6895 or thefishingline.com. Hey, fishermen! For the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to The Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with Thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. Like Joe said here, the whole point here is you want to have nothing but the Dacron 
actually be the really the edge of the skin with the skin right without anything in front of it absolutely this is this is probably the most tedious part of the whole thing is doing this you got to be careful and this is a sharp razor blade you can just see how tough this eel skin really is yes now how long how many years do you fish this before you actually want to change the skin on the plug Jeff? this this thing it's very similar to the rig deal you could fish it you're done with it, you put it right in a Ziploc bag, right in the freezer, mm -hmm. and same thing applies. When you're ready to fish it, you take it out and use it as long as uh, the skin holds on. The skin holds on. It should last, you know, almost through the whole season, the whole fall. Now, will you change the skins every year when you start a new season? Yes. Okay. But the way the skins have been going, hard to get them holding on to them longer. <laughs> Okay. It's not a bad idea, particularly around Christmas time when you know the eels are coming in. Right. To go get your eels and your skins for the following season. That's the time usually to go buy them. You go invest a few bucks. Right. You go to the fish market around Christmas time. You have them. You skin them. You throw the skins in the freezer. And as you can see, folks, we've cut all the excess off. You'll see some scarring of the razor blade on the paint. But once again, color doesn't make a difference with this plug because it's totally covered by the eel skin. But again, you have the edge of the skin. You have the Dacron, that is your notch, and we're ready to go now. Now we just got to make holes for the hook, right? Right. Now, what we did, this is the same version that we just did a little earlier. Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is, right where your barrel swivel comes out, you got to take your knife and you just make a little slice right inside that hem there that we showed you earlier. Okay? You pop your swivel out. Let's show them. And now you got your swivel which is exposed from the skin. Nothing's hung up on it. Now you're ready to apply your hook. Now the hook sizes could vary depending on the plug. Every plug swims different. Every plug, uh, you know, that you got a diving plug, a top water plug. With the eel skin plugs, I like to use the plugs and make them dive a little bit under the surface. So what we do is, first thing we do is we bend the eye of the plug up. If you bend the eye up, the plug will swim deeper. If you bend the eye down, the plug will swim more on the surface. A lot of people think you bend the lip. You never bend the lip of the plug. You always bend the eye. And then you can go down to the beach. You adjust it to where you get it to swim the right way. The second part is to apply your hook. The smallest hook that I would use on a plug like this would be a 3-0. The biggest is a 4-0. Now, like I said earlier, every plug swims differently. So what you have to do is you've got to put on a, a hook. This is a 4-0. You apply your hook, you go down to the beach, you cast the plug, you see how it swims. If it swims a little too much to the right or to the left, you want to take the hook off, try a new hook. If you get it to swim proper with a smaller hook, you go with the smaller hook. Because sometimes anything a little bit on the plug will affect the way it swims, the tail on this eel. But once you get it swimming right, that's a deadly lure right there. This thing looks like it's alive in the water. It'll outlast any other plug as far as like you know, a rigged eel getting bit up. The bluefish can bite on it. They're not going to rip it apart. Deadly lure. Works excellent. Catches big fish. Can use it year-round. Bay, inlets, surf, trolling. Deadly lure for the stripers. And that's another thing that you don't see much anymore either. Exactly. If you notice, the stitching, so-called stitching that we talked about on the eel skin is running on the top at 12 o'clock and on the bottom at 6 o'clock, not mm -hmm. down the sides. Why right. is that, Joe? Because that's the natural formation of the eel. You want to put the skin of the eel as if it was a real eel. This would be the top, that would mm -hmm. be the bottom. There's his tail, and it's as natural as natural gets. And with the, you know, the added action from the lip, and when that thing's swimming and the tail's swaying beautiful in the tide, you'd want to eat it. Absolutely. Now, one thing you also notice, folks, this plug probably started with three places to put hooks and some of these plugs actually come with three treble hooks okay what you're looking at here is we're only using one hook and why is that different? right well basically using a one hook because uh, most of the time when you go plugging you know for the bass they usually hit the plug head first okay. and uh, you know to put the skin on there you really can't have the tail hook because it defeats the whole purpose and uh, it's more or less a slender swimming lure you right. know it's a finesse lure and you know, you're targeting the bass, and the bass usually hit the lures head first, so you really, anything starts hitting the tail, it's most likely bluefish or wheatfish, and if that's not what you're looking for, you know, this is strictly uh, for stripers at night, early morning, better in the dark usually than 
during the daytime. And uh, it's a great law. You know, it's good to build them. You build them yourself. It doesn't take long, as you can see. And a real confidence booster when you catch a few nice fish on something you make. And it catches big fish, too. The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson was brought to you by Marine Formula Stable. To prevent the damaging effects of ethanol in your fuel tank, use Marine Formula Stable. And by the Long Island Power Authority. More choice, better service, LIPA. And by the Fishing Report Hotline. 24-hour fishing reports. By phone when you need them. Fishermen, for the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. Oh, fish on, here we go. Hey, folks, when I'm not out here doing the Fishing Line television show, guess what I'm doing? I'm on WGBB 1240 AM bringing you the Fishing Line radio show every Saturday afternoon with up-to-the-minute fishing reports throughout the show, weekly guest experts sharing their tips and secrets, and we take your phone calls live on the air. If you want to know where the fish are, not where they were, join me every Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. on WGBB 1240 AM radio for the Fishing Line. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fishing reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. Hey surf casters, would you like to learn the real secrets of the surf game? Well now you can by fishing with licensed guide and TV host Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Whether a beginner or a surf rat, learn to read the beach, fish plugs or bait and all quality tackle is supplied free. Fish one or two people or get gift certificates. From Montauk to New York City, get consistency and quality in your fishing game by fishing with Rich Johnson of The Fishing Line. Call 516-889-6895. That's 516-889-6895 or thefishingline.com.